Welcome guys, today in this video we will be looking at which is the best grip for recoil controlling and spraying in PUBG Mobile. Well let's get this tutorial started, so there are currently 6 grips, 7 if we count the ergonomic grip, as it can only be obtained from shops. So these 3 grips are very well known and popular for being really good at recoil controlling and spraying, as they reduce the recoil by the most, however every grip has its own purpose and its unique abilities. So let me walk you through each and every grip, so you'll have a better understanding about them. Starting with the vertical grip, it's the most popular grip in this game, so to test this grips, I'll be shooting at a wall to get these spray patterns, so we can compare them next to each other. So this is the M416's recoil or spray pattern with no grips or no attachments, just a raw recoil. And now with the vertical grip, as the name says it's a vertical reduction grip, it only reduces the vertical recoil by about 15% on average, as you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison. However it also reduces the horizontal recoil by about 3-4%, it's not supposed to do that, since vertical grip doesn't affect the horizontal recoil directly, but somehow it just reduces it slightly, and you won't even notice that. Anyway who should be using this vertical grip? Well this grip is for everyone, doesn't matter if you are a new player or an old and very experienced player, or somewhere in between, this grip will never disappoint you. And the special thing about the vertical grip is it's suitable for any range. You can use this grip for long range to mid range spraying, as well as in close range sprays and close combat fights. Basically this grip can be used in any situation, I would say vertical grip is an all rounder grip. Moving on to the angled grip, so this grip reduces horizontal recoil by about 15% on average, as shown in this recoil pattern. The angled grip makes the spray look more like a straight line, but the vertical recoil remains the same, just the left and right horizontal recoil gets affected by this grip, and also it increases the scope opening speed by 10%, this may come in handy sometimes. So who should be using this angled grip? Well this grip is definitely not for new players, because it requires some experience, as it's very hard to control recoil with an angled grip, however, once you learn how to control recoil with an angled grip, your sprays will be more accurate. So angled grip is really good at mid to long range spraying, because it has very low horizontal recoil, so you can spray with the best accuracy, and connect more shots in your sprays. Especially with 4x and 6x scopes, angled grip increases your scope opening time by 10%, giving you few milliseconds advantages. Now to the half grip, half grip reduces both vertical recoil and horizontal recoil by about 8%, but it also improves the recoil recovery of the weapon, so this recoil recovery will reduce the recoil even further down, making half grip's total recoil reduction at 10% average on both vertical and horizontal. But all this comes at the cost of weapon stability, every time you fire, you get this weapon kick, or it shakes your gun like this. So this shakiness will increase when using half grip, it's not a big deal, you most likely won't notice it, but it's just there. So who should be using this half grip? Well this grip is for everyone doesn't matter if you're a new player or you're playing since many years. Half grip will not disappoint you, unless you thought it's a flare gun. Anyway this grip is suitable for any range from close combat fights to long range spraying, it's an all rounder. Now to the thumb grip, so this grip's main purpose is to increase the scope opening speed, and it sure does by about 30%. But not just this, it also offers some small recoil reduction as you can see from these recoil pattern, it offers 5% vertical recoil reduction. But it also increases your weapon steadiness and stability, and some other improvements, that will make the overall recoil reduction to 7% vertically and around 3-4% horizontally. So who should be using thumb grip? Well thumb grip is a close range grip, but since it also offers some light recoil reduction, you can use this grip for mid-range spraying. However thumb grip doesn't help during extreme close combat fights like hip firing, it only works when you scope in. Anyway you can equip thumb grip into your close combat weapons like barrel M762 and UMP and vector etc. Now moving on to the light grip, this is a very interesting grip because it doesn't offer any recoil reduction, so what does this grip do? Well it increases the weapon steadiness and weapon stability after every shot, so basically this grip is good for single tapping, like for DMRs. This is the least powerful grip in PUBG Mobile, the best way to use light grip is with SKS, makes the single tapping easier. Anyway now moving on to the laser sight, it's not a grip, but it goes into the same slot, so laser sight doesn't offer any recoil reduction to your gun. Its main purpose is to increase your hip fire accuracy by about 30% for assault rifles and 70% for pistols. If you don't know what's hip firing it's basically you firing without opening the scope like this. 
So if you equip a laser sight, you get this laser and it increases your accuracy by 30%. But here's a thing laser sight is not powerful as you think. For example this is the normal hip fire spread of M416, and now with the laser sight equipped, and now with a vertical grip, so hopefully you can notice the difference here. Using a normal grip like vertical or half grip, will make much bigger difference in hip fire spread. So laser sight is basically useless however I think laser sight is designed specifically for pistols, and it's much more effective when using pistols. And now to the exclusive ergonomic grip, the only way to get this is from market shops. This is the best grip in the entire game, it offers 15% vertical recoil reduction and 10% horizontal recoil reduction, it offers the highest amount of recoil reduction in any grip. This grip is literally for everyone, it's an all-rounder grip, can be used for any range, it gives the best performance out of any grip. And I know most of you are wondering how much recoil does flash hider and compensator and other attachments will reduce. Well I put them in the screen you can pause and check how much recoil each attachment will reduce, so you will understand which one to pick. Anyway now to the final conclusion on which is the best grip, so these three grips are the best ones, but if you need to pick one, it totally depends on your preferences and needs. Let's say you're struggling with vertical recoil, then use the vertical grip. Suppose you're having problems with horizontal recoil, then use the angled grip it will help you, or you have problem with both vertical and horizontal recoil, then try half grip, it's best in the both world. Anyway that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button, and subscribe for more upcoming videos like these, see you guys in the next one, enjoy my bot gameplay.